Super Mayhem. Hello friends, another quick video today. I thought we'd get arty again. Today we've got some cube craft mushroom that I've tried to print out. You probably will have already noticed that my printer ink ran out halfway through. So I had to color it in the uh, missing blanks. But that's alright, you gotta work with what you've got. Now, full disclosure, I've never done anything like this before. So we're in for a little bit of a trial, trial and error period here, but accordingly, according to the steps, I have to carefully cut out these shapes, which is probably already going to take me a while to do. But I'll see if, see if I can make it somewhat painless. This is where the magic of editing really helps. I'll just cut this bit out and then I'll be like, ta-da, finished product. Oh, almost cut a corner off there already. Off to a good start. So this is obviously the face of the mushroom. I don't have um, a Stanley knife, or what do they call it? They've got a special name for it. A hobby knife. I don't have a hobby knife per se. So I'm going to improvise by using one of my pocket knives that I'm hoping will be cut, will be tough enough. I just thought this might be a fun little activity to do, so if I can do it, oh well. If I can at least somewhat do it, I'm pretty certain anyone can do it. Oh, minor overcut, minor overcut, that's alright. Tell you what, arts and crafts, unless you do it a lot, apparently you lose your skills. Now, they, uh, they actually recommended using a thicker paper, but I didn't... <laughs> if my ink cartridge is running out, what do you think the chances of me are of having thicker paper? Pretty, pretty slim. Tell you what, this is a little bit harder than I had expected. I just think it's amazing that people come up with this stuff. Like, how would you come up with this as a plan to begin with? Whoa. I'm pushing the envelope here with some of these cuts. It's all right. We'll live on the edge of paper folding Mario. Doesn't get more risque than that. What do you do on a Wednesday afternoon? Oh, cut up some Mario mushrooms. Pretty hardcore. If you want to be a rebel at school, maybe this is a good way to do it. You'll be instantly one of the cool kids. Forget smoking behind the school shed. Cut up some power-up mushrooms really delicately. We're not even to the guts of the mushroom yet. This is just the, the little face that'll stick out the bottom, hopefully. I've got some backup sticky tape, even though it suggests you won't need glue or sticky tape. I'm prepared because I know that I'm not, not very good at this, so... If anyone wants to start placing bets on whether or not this will work, I am taking action as well. YouTube should let you gamble or something more, I think, huh? Will, will Tim be able to actually put this mushroom together? Probably not. Alright, awesome. So there's somewhat the head cut out. Oh, I might get rid of the instructions for a start. But keep them close by because I'll probably, even though they don't really help you, they at least inform you of what's going on. Don't you love the colour change? It's half printed out red and half just coloured in by pencil because uh, ain't nobody got time to go and get more ink cartridges. That stuff I'll note is more precious than like petrol. I think it's one of the most precious substances of, that you can buy, those ink cartridges. Something for you to Google while you're waiting for me to cut this up. Although I, I know you're all secretly at home waiting for me to just do a really poor cut and ruin the whole thing. And that's okay too. It's kind of like going to racing car, going to see some uh, racing cars. Yes, you, you enjoy the fast cars, but you're secretly hoping that there'll be some sort of big crash. I've got light paper, bad equipment, the printer ran out of ink, so everything's going our way so far. To be honest, I just felt like trying to cut this out and see if I could do it. Ooh, living on the edge. Ooh, I might have bitten off more than I can chew here. This is very painstaking now. So I'm guessing the idea is where you make these cuts, things will slot in and sort of hold itself together. That's alright. Some minor mistake there, that's alright. You can work with this. Okay, minor blemishes. Yeah, if you're looking for someone to construct a perfect 
cube art of a mushroom, this is probably not the right video to be watching. This is more, I had some spare time and felt like setting up my light and testing out a tripod. And here we are. I'm probably making this look way harder than it actually is just because I'm so awkward. Okay, let me make some space here. So, what the hell do I do now? I'm guessing now somehow it connects all together. Does anyone know how this works? Like, comment, subscribe for more poor Mario Arts and Crafts where I have no real clue what I'm doing. Oh my goodness, this is, I see what's going on now. This might actually work. Wow, this is really cool. All that ard arduous cutting out and stuff is paying off. Maybe. I spoke too soon. You can definitely see how if you had a thicker paper this would turn out way better as well. I mean the A4 works, but it's not as as thick as you would like it, I guess. It's a bit, a bit too flimsy maybe. Why? Didn't I already do you? Am I just going around in circles as it pops out? Maybe I'm... Ah, I am... This is quite hard to do, especially if you haven't cut the tea out. Alright, so that's the mushroom head, I guess. Now we have to do the body. Now we're constructing the mushroom face here. So this is where I think sticky tape or glue might actually be of assistance. I keep popping out. Now my F pops out again. B to quadrant B. I can see how it would work, but I'm just... Oh, oh no, I've ruined the roof of this now. Oh. It's all going wrong. We've all been waiting for the car accident. The car crash has come now. I might just, I might just leave it at that. Beautiful. One up. Uh, one up mushroom, kind of. I'll bring that up to the camera. You can see it kind of works. Use your imagination. Imagine that did actually fit together with some heavier paper. Perfect. So there you have it, guys. Some <laughs> some terrible cube art that doesn't actually work very well but that's it's not my it's not the instructions fault it's the the master craftsman here how about if i put it sideways that's maybe a better way of doing it there almost works so um we'll just pretend i did that one that's the one i did if anyone asks so uh yeah i'm going to leave a link to <laughs> To the actual pattern below guys give it a better crack than i can than i did just make sure you don't cut yourself with a stanley knife or anything because i'm certainly not liable if anyone it's the cube art people but i can definitely see how this would be really fun if i had a thicker paper and more patience can i get it in there i just ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. look screw it there. Good luck.